Hi, my name is Marcus Brown and I'm the lead facilitator here at the Digital Media Lab. And so we have Monet, who's going to be one of our hosts of KC Team Talk. So we decided we put her on the hot spot on this topic. And so, you know, I'll just start with this, Monet. Um, you know, normally you don't see a lot of girls that really get into console gaming. Mm -hmm. And so that becomes a difference. That's just my first thing that I see. So tell me, what um, is that something that you see amongst your friends? Are you an anomaly or do you see a lot of girls playing games and we just don't know about it? Um, we don't normally see a lot of girls playing. Um, usually, usually girls who play gaming or like have uh, consoles is because they have like brothers or male figures in their life so what game is what games or game did the kind of attracted you to the console um well i guess when uh fortnite first came out and like everybody was like really crazy about it and i didn't like have a console at the time and i don't have any um like brothers in my house so um i wanted to learn how to play the game because i'm just like that's i felt like that was a school a skill to have okay and uh, what are the top what are um the three top games you would play in a day hmm. probably something like minecraft or terraria at number one number two would be maybe like microsoft flight simulator or some kind of other simulator and the third one would be just some kind of rpg I don't really play like game console system <laughs> games. I really just play what's on my phone. So let me think. I play episode. I play um, this Bratz game mm -hmm. that yeah, just okay. came out not too long ago. Among Us, uh, FNAF games, and my hero, the strongest hero. One of my um, favorite games is MLB The Show 21. Okay. Um, because I'm a big fan of baseball. Um, so yeah, um, I like playing that like, I play more of like a franchise mode and then there's a more different mode. Um, but my favorite is franchise mode, like being able to be like the manager. I like Call of Duty Mobile, um, like because it's a mobile game and like that's the first one we got and like they add constant updates, you know, they're always changing something and the secrets, things like that. Causey Mobile and GTA, like, you know, there's a big difference. GTA is a sandbox and Causey Mobile, like, more like a mission-based game. Sandbox, okay. As a gamer, are there any other skills that you can see that, that people gain from playing video games? Um, I can say they're, they're addictive. I don't know if that's a skill, but I know that's something <laughs> like, they're addictive, but they also, um, I feel like they're really good skills because of the eyesight too or learning like your surroundings even though it's on a oh, yeah. <laughs> even though they're on a um, game like you know I think they help you with your aiming as well not saying that somebody should learn <laughs> how to like well if you're a pitcher yeah or if you're a bowler like yeah. myself then those hand-eye yeah. coordination things uh you know i watched ma major league baseball players they were doing a computer simulation where they had to clap their hands when they saw a blinking light and then so they start to integrate some of these things where you have to have definite time and in, into major sports um, the one thing that I want to say is that just to goes along with the addicted addictiveness is the amount of time that we spend mm -hmm. and the amount of time that it really takes to get proficient at these games and uh, we don't as gamers think about how that translates into other areas of our lives so do you know like how many hours in a day it took you to get advanced or like how many hours it does take you to get advanced at like different levels if I'm if I'm playing like a simulator game, there's like lots of real world physics and such. It could probably around 50 hours. Um, I would say I'm on the game. Depending if I have enough uh, tickets, I'm on there for like maybe two or three hours just playing scenarios <laughs> and stories. Yeah. Um, but I would say the least amount of time I spend is like. 30 minutes to an hour. I would play on it for a while because like I was mm -hmm. really excited for this game since for it is the first time it was on Xbox so I played it a lot and it, it took it it took it didn't take me too long to get used to it but it took me uh, more to get like good at it like okay. it took me like a few days like a day or two. To day or two okay. It really didn't take that long like I had people to play with so like I can learn like way faster so it really didn't take me that long. Okay, um, how many hours do you, you um, usually like spend on these games? 
four or more hours because most of the time i'm not really doing nothing. i'm in the house so i'm not really doing nothing so probably four or more um do your parents like choose or does your mom choose what games you get to play um she chooses the games i get to buy um but she doesn't like i can go back there and just like play any game i want but like if you mean like games i get to buy then yeah she okay i'm almost 18 <laughs> i can play what i want um do your parents choose uh, what games you get to play to some extent yes okay i generally ask them if i can get this game and generally they say yes sometimes they say no so if i really get a game like if they're like real violent you yeah. know, X. okay <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this segment on gaming. We want you to know there is more than meets the eye when it comes to this. People put a lot of time into perfecting their gaming skills and it's also a multi-billion dollar industry. So when you see someone playing video games, just know they are not just moving their thumbs and fingers. A lot goes into this hobby, especially time and money. After all, Call of Duty made over three billion for Activision in the last year. From those staggering numbers, I bet you can see that gaming is a whole lot more than play. For KC Teen Talk, this has been Tyler Muhammad.